The best kind of learning is the learning that sneaks up on you. Ugh. How to mere cats order pizza is a great example of that. So, dare I say it's a perfect example of that. Because you're not expecting to learn anything from this book, but when you pick it up, you say, well, my goodness, uh, I'm learning a lot from this. And this goes for anybody in fourth grade and up. Uh, dig this. The subtitle to the book is Wild Facts About Animals and the Scientists Who Study Them. It's from Brooke Barker, uh, creator of Sad Animal Facts. Um, it features, uh, roughly speaking, about 12 to 15 scientists who study animals. But it does it in such an, an informative, soft way that you don't realize you're getting sucked into learning something. And that is a great example of the book. Uh, case in point, there's a, a profile in the book about a, a guy who studies a gar. Gar is this fish walking monster thing in Louisiana. Never heard of it. Actually, I'd, I'd seen it in passing. It's a distant cousin to the dinosaur, but the dinosaurs all died. The gar is still living. Has poisonous eggs. It's an incredible monster beast fish thing. And this guy studies it. And he was, I guess he was motivated to study it because he read an article in Ranger Rick magazine when he was a kid. Now, Flav, go forward 25 years, and that's his job, is to educate people about the gar. And that's what I think the point of how do meerkats order pizza could be for some kids in fourth grade, where they read about these people and what they do for these animals, and they'll become curious enough to say scientists can do that to where they will then maybe say, well, maybe I can learn about marsupials and make the world a better place for marsupials in 25 or 30 years when I'm a grown adult doing what I want to do in the world. And the illustrations are so kawaii. Um, using that Japanese term to say they're cute, but they're so much more than cute because they drag you in. They're emotive, they're funny, they're impactful. It's just a great nonfiction book, and you're not expecting nonfiction for kids to really be this entertaining, because when you think about nonfiction for kids, you're thinking like Nat Geo Kids, which is done on a very informative level, but it's also done using photographs and not much humor. This is, uh, is uh, I dare I say, again, the perfect package without putting too many platitudes on it. Uh, how do meerkats order pizza? Because it does it in a funny, non-fiction way with illustration that's, that's also going to hit the, the graphic novel crowd and just the curious crowd who are saying, wow, what's this book about meerkats talking about ordering pizza and what are they doing? And then you find out, oh, it's about scientists who study them? What? It's ridiculously entertaining. Uh, really, I challenge you to open any page uh, to how do meerkats order pizza. Try not to be entertained and just try not to go to the next page. It fabulously fails the cat video challenge. And that's a good thing.